Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Valerie, and this is The Hargett Life. Today, I have some yummy dessert recipes to share. They're all easy to make, and they'll be perfect to make for Valentine's Day. Now let's get started. We're gonna start off by making a two ingredient strawberry fudge. For this, you'll need strawberry frosting and white chocolate chips. I'm also adding some Valentine's sprinkles. In a medium sized bowl, add in 12 ounces of white chocolate chips and microwave in 30 second intervals until completely melted. Now open a 16 ounce container of strawberry frosting, completely remove the foil from the top, microwave in 15 second intervals until completely melted. Then add it to the melted white chocolate. Now stir this until everything is well combined. Now grab a nine by nine inch baking dish, line it with foil, Spray it with some nonstick spray and pour in that mixture. Spread it out evenly. Now I'm topping this with some Valentine sprinkles. I was slinging sprinkles everywhere here. You could also top this with some crushed up freeze dried strawberries. Refrigerate this for a couple hours to let it set and then cut it into small pieces. This is a fun and super easy Valentine treat to make for the kids. This next recipe is a three ingredient no bake Hershey's pie. For this, you'll need a pre-made graham cracker crust, Hershey's chocolate bars, and Cool Whip. In a large bowl, add in six regular sized Hershey's chocolate bars, and I just broke mine in half. Now microwave these in 30 second intervals until completely melted. They might not look melted, but just give them a good stir. They melt quick, and you just wanna make sure not to burn these. My daughter would totally just eat this with a spoon if I let her. Now you'll need an eight ounce container of Cool Whip that you let thaw out in the fridge. Add it to that melted chocolate and then mix this until everything is well combined. Now pour that mixture into a pre-made graham cracker crust. Smooth it out and then this will need to be refrigerated for a couple hours to set before slicing. I really should have wrote do not eat yet on this before I put it in the refrigerator because this is what I found when I went back to get it. <laughs> Even though it was missing a big chunk, I decorated it anyway. I just added on some cute little Hershey's hearts, but you could also top this with chocolate shavings or whipped topping. Now this is just too cute. This is a very yummy, quick and easy dessert. This last recipe is for Nutter Butter Truffles. And for this, you'll need Nutter Butter Sandwich Cookies, Cream Cheese, and Melting Chocolate. 
In a large bowl, I have eight ounces of cream cheese, and I put this in the microwave for about 30 seconds to soften it. Now over to a food processor or a blender, add in a 16 ounce package of Nutter Butter Cookies. This was a tight fit, but I made it work. Now blend these to fine crumbs. And this is what they should look like. Now I'm grabbing my softened block of cream cheese, and to that I'm adding the Nutter Butter crumbs. And blend this until it turns into a cookie dough-like consistency. It still looks a little crumbly, but everything's well combined and it's ready to be rolled. Now scoop tablespoon size portions or whatever size you like and roll them into balls. These can be a little tricky to roll, but they'll eventually come together. Place them on a parchment lined baking sheet and then they'll need to be refrigerated for about an hour. Then we'll be ready to dip them in chocolate. Now in the refrigerator they go. Now while those were chilling, I melted half of a 24 ounce package, which was 12 ounces of vanilla almond bark, according to the instructions on the back of the package. Just make sure it's completely melted. I grab the truffles out of the refrigerator I drop them into the melted chocolate, roll them around a little bit, let some of that excess chocolate drip off, and then place them back onto the baking sheet. If you wanna add sprinkles to these, do it before that chocolate completely sets. Instead of the sprinkles, you could also top this with more crushed up cookies. The Oreo truffles are delicious, but these are even better. Well y'all, that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I will see you in the next one.